Hello and a very warm welcome to this Bitwig tutorial. In this episode, I talk about the Pitch 12 modulator. Some of you might remember it from the film score, The 12 Usual Suspects, or the early EDM 12 to the floor beat, or the saying, catch one bird with 12 stones. But let's get started. Hello. So to load up the modulator, just open the modulator section of your device, click on the plus and just type in pitch, maybe pitch or 12. And you can select the pitch 12 modulator. This is the modulator and as you can see, it looks like a keyboard, like the white keys and the black keys, but the white and the black keys are gray keys in, in this. <laughs> so let's um, click F1 for the help, two for the money. And um, this is another Voodoo device. It's attacked by a lot of needles, and but it's a very simple device. And it's as powerful as well very powerful so this device just says um, one modulator for each note for each octave so um, there you see um, 12 different um, modulators for each note there you see the c note the d note the e note so here you have the white keys and here you have the black keys like uh, c sharp or d minor um, D, D flat, sorry, D flat. So that's nearly all, but down here we have another two um, sliders or, or knobs, dials, dialers, and uh, the leg uh, dial just says it's like an attack and a, and a decay or release, a rise and a fall. Um, so if you press a note, this will delay um, the effect. So the modulation starts after this delay. And um, when you release the key, um, the effect goes back slowly with this delay, like in this case, nearly one second. And the other dial is a, a percentage dial and amount dial so you can say okay this modulations um, will take effect with 100% uh, amount or less or nothing okay so that's that's the whole device and um, if you click on on that modulator device you see in the inspector panel again here all the notes and all the modulators so you can start from here or from here. So I just take the C note and dial in some noise, for example, or a lot of noise, for example. Okay. If I play on my keyboard just any um, C note, you will hear this. Another filter effect on it. So with every C note, maybe I take a little bit back so you can hear the note. If I uh, use a C an octave down, it's always when you press a C or octave up, it's always um, the noise. Let's take it a little bit back. And um, for example, if I use the, if I use, for example, another modulator like the LFO, I hold um, com uh, command control and click on the other one so it opens both modulators. In this modulator I configured like this. I uh, configure the amount to 0% but when I press um, for example let's say um, D sharp the amount goes up to Let's say 100%. And there's a little bit delay and slowly, no delay, slowly going up until seconds. And this modulates, for example, the filter. So 
I modulated which one? This one. And if I play a C again, you hear the noise. And I, if I play now the D sharp, now you see the filter moving according to this LFO. Maybe I speed it up a little bit. I play a normal D, there's no filter movement. So I increase the release and take a look at the lag. So this was the rise and the fall, like attack and decay or maybe release, attack and release. I put that on, let's say, nearly two seconds or something like that. Now I press, uh, <laughs> press the C key with the noise again. And you see it goes slowly up. And if I release the key like now, it goes slowly back because I um, configured here a release. And it uses the whole nearly two seconds. Not really two seconds, no, nearly. And the same with the D sharp. It up a little bit. And this device is polyphonic, so even if I um, Configure, for example, the F to the panning. So I pan it hard right. I leave the leg in here. This was the F. So the F goes to the right. If I switch off the leg, it's completely on the right. Is it really hard panned on the right? Yeah, it is. Uh, I still have a um, like uh, this one. Maybe I switch off the delay. I put in the lag again, like two seconds or something. So you can configure every key from your octave um, with a di different effect. You could modulate here this wheel so that every um, uh, sharp it goes like here. It's very powerful because you can modulate a lot of things and if you go um, over other uh, modulators like LFOs or step sequencer or uh, the steps or something else or the um, randomizer or everything else or maybe on uh, over another one so you have like two um, two different hops you're using, uh, you can create very complex uh, soundscapes. It's very interesting. So I hope you liked this video. If yes, leave a comment because the algorithm loves comments. So I would ask you to support me with comments on this channel. And I hope I see you soon again. Stay healthy. See you. Bye bye.